Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, uh, let's have a look at the mech bays real quick here. Um, last mission we hit, we went against the uh, um, pirates, Didn't we didn't do so bad. Uh, but let's have a look at the mechs here. So the Timberwolf I haven't fixed yet. This is the one that uh, Mastodon bailed out of. Uh, I haven't fixed it yet because I'm not sure what to do with it. We're going to leave it for now. It's not a, it's not imperative that we get it back up and running. We don't need it right now. Um, but it's taking a fair bit of damage. Uh, we really didn't lose any weapon systems or Well, we did. We lost the ATM-9, 6 off the one arm. But um, everything else is pretty much intact on it, except for the head, of course. Um, but let's have a look at this Atlas here. So this is the Atlas 2C. And what we're probably going to end up doing, I don't know what we're, I mean, I don't know what we're probably going to end up doing with this guy. We've got enough to, we can like start putting stuff together here. The one thing that, you know, I wish we had more of, uh, which is strange because like, um, we don't have any in the, in the, uh, in stock right now is Clan Endo Steel. Uh, we went through it pretty damn quick now that we've got uh, a whole bunch of different mechs. So, um, I've been selling bits and pieces of it here and there just to make up our financial reports, but now, uh, we don't have any left over. So we got enough for this one, but we don't have enough for anything else, uh, unfortunately. But um, this mech, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You know, Let me know what you think. We got a whole bunch of different types of weapons that we can add. Um, definitely going to be throwing the weapon mounts in this thing. But um, as far as weapons go, we've got a ton. I mean, we could put the Rack 10 in. It's a possibility, but that caseless ammo that we picked up last time, We've got 40 rounds. That's all the ammo we have for it. Um, and it's definitely going to jam for sure. Now we do have an upper recoil thing that we could throw in here. Um, but I don't really have any fire control systems to reduce the re recoil on ballistic. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do. Um, so the Rack 10 is a possibility on this thing. There's also like we got Ultra 5s here. we got Ultra 2s. we got Rotary 2s. Um... Rotary AC2 risks. Um, we've got a Rotary AC20. Unfortunately, I've only got like a, I think a ton and a half ammo for this thing. So it's like you'd get one good burst off and we're pretty much done. Um, as far as Gauss rifles go, we've got those Rotary Gausses. Uh, I wasn't really 100% impressed with them. They got a very short range, but that's, you know, that's a possibility. We've got the HA30 um, here as well. Half decent range on this thing. Now we've got the thumper, we've got the broadside. Broadside I want to get into something. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but we want to get this up, up and running. Uh, as far as lasers go, we don't have any, anything big and powerful right now. We've got large, we've got large heavy lasers that we can use. I've only got one ER large, a couple of large pulses to get the ER laser, laser uh, broad, um, blaze fire. But if we go with the large heavy lasers, the problem is, is I don't really have... Um, uh, prototype double heatsink kits and prototype double heatsinks to be able to mitigate all the heat this is going to be generating. So that's kind of out right now. Uh, we've got four PPCs. Once again, it's a heat problem. Flamers I've been staying away from and SRMs. We've got heavy MRM 30s we could use. Uh, that's a possibility. Um, I've kind of got a, a variety of different ammo for this, but these things can't use indirect fire, unfortunately. So we'll be using direct fire only, which means we got to be relatively in like a good visual position to be able to use them. Um, and the ammo that we've got for them is, like I said, it's like a hodgepodge of stuff. So with a heavy MRM-60 build, it would be like, I don't know, a bunch of random, you know, guesses at uh, like what ammo to use. So until we get more ammo for these, it's kind of like, I don't know, we could probably use one maybe, but two of them, eh. LRMs, it's the standard LRM. I mean, we can go LRM-20s. we got some streak. Oh, well, we only have one ton of streak ammo, so we can't really do too much with that. We do have a bunch of LRMs. We've got some ATMs as well. Uh, also, the ones that we haven't pulled off, the um, Timberwolf yet, so we could use those. And some improved ATMs. Thunderbolts, we don't have any. AMS, just standard AMS, and then tags and stuff. Got one tag barrage, just got to get it into somebody. But as far as ammo goes, like I said, if we go to MRM here, heavy MRM, we got Acid which is not too bad. Now these things have got, how much? 120 shots. So these would be two turns, like each one of these is two turns, right? So it's three of those, we got follow the leader, uh, damage follow the leader, which means we could, we got four turns of follow the leader here, or four tons. A couple of LK, which would be four rounds of firing. Um, 
heavy MRM swarm. Uh, we got some thunder. Like it's a, a like I said, it's a hodgepodge of stuff. So we'd be choosing whatever every turn to try and fire stuff off, and uh, heavy MRM extended range, um, which has damage fall off. But you know we do have it if we want to use it. Um, LRM, we've got a variety. We've got we haven't put the Hydra in yet, and anything else. I gotta figure out where that's gonna go. But you know, if we do do an LRM build, we've got plenty of Artemis ammo that we could use. Uh, we got Swarm, Incendiary, Thunder, um, all, all, Thunder Augmented. We've only got one ton of Streak ammo, so um, got SRM ammo with no SRMs. Um, Hyper Goss ammo, so we're okay there. We have got two tons of Rappel Bore. I, I'm not even gonna bother with that. LBX, we don't really have anything, but rack ammo. Um, we've got, where is it here? We got those, we got three tons of uh, rack 10 case. We've got three tons. We must have had one. All right, so that's actually not that bad. We've got 60 shots, which is what we've got on the rack fives. So we could run the rack 10 on this. That's a good possibility. And we've only got half a ton of rack 20 ammo, so like that's really out. It's got 12 shots, like I said, two turns of firing and we're done, right? So, I mean, we could use it as an Ultra 20 and fire two turns every round for six turns, but, like, what's the point, right? Um, then Rack 2, we got plenty of Rack 2 ammo, so we could run that. I don't have any Ultra 20s, although I've been buying Ultra 20 ammo in the hopes of picking up another Ultra 20 auto cannon, but we haven't had a chance to get one yet, so... Um, Ultra 5 ammo, Ultra 2 ammo, we don't really have much Ultra 2 ammo, but we don't need that much. Um, and that's it. Um... Got four tons of AMS ammo. We do have uh, arrow guided and uh, regular arrow four ammo. So if we want to do an, another regular build, we can. Now the arrow guided, this thing requires. The reason why I haven't put this in our arrow uh, mech right now is it requires a Artemis TTS to be installed. And right now we have the indirect fire on there, which I would prefer to have because that mech just stands at the back and fires anyway. So while this would give us more accuracy. Um, we would have to lose accuracy on everything else, so I'd rather not do that. Um, all right, so that's the choices. You guys let me know what you think. I don't know what to put on this thing, but I mean, maybe it's a rack build. It's got to be relatively cool. I keep that in mind. Like those large improved heavies aren't bad, but we've got to be able to keep it cool. We've got to probably be able to use uh, clan double heat sinks, so the space is going to be an issue again, too. And then this Atlas, I'm not going to do anything with it uh, until we can get an XL engine in this thing, which is going to be four and a half million C bills, which we don't have right now, obviously. So I managed to sell enough. I didn't sell any mech parts, but I did sell a bunch of junk that we had. Um, I managed to get enough for the uh, financial report for this month. So it doesn't really matter how we do on the mission today. Uh, as long as we don't get shredded, we should be able to make our, uh, our financial report. So the mission is going to be... Uh, where are you here? Pride and Vanity. Going against the local pirate organization again. These guys are definitely not liking us. We're going to max out our Jade, Jade Falcon as well. So now we can go back and forth between Falcon and uh, and um, and Wolf. Okay, so we're going to do that. That we're going to take the same loadout, I think, as the last time. Yeah, I think so. So let's just load up our same pilots again. Uh, as far as skills go, let me think now. There was a couple people that went up. Dallas, I think her tactics went up. I raised up Goofy's piloting. Um, so his unsteady threshold went up. And I think I raised up... Was it Ducks piloting? Or was it Workhorses? Someone else's piloting went up. And I think it was Mastodon's piloting went up one from 7 to 8. And that gave him minus 10% stability. Um damage so that's going to help him a bit with stability I've, i think these lighter pilots that are piloting the lighter max we definitely need to try and get their piloting up to nine to give them one more level of uh, instability threshold um yeah so that's these guys here so i'm going to work i'm going to work towards that while these guys up here i work towards getting uh tactics nine which gives us the um uh ability to of improved called shot which is why uh, infiltrator is doing so well with those uh uh, with all those lasers. Anyway, let's deploy this and get it done. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. 
We know this map. We know this map. It's been a while since we fought here. Alright, we got four lances up on the top. Most likely another lance coming from this side. So... How much room do we have over here? Not bad. Or we could go up this way. I want to try and use the range to our advantage again, because once again, that's what we're built for. And I don't want to be staying down in the valley here, because obviously they're going to get a chance to shoot us. But if we go up over here, it should put us on a regular e equal footage. Otherwise, we're going to have to push straight up into here. And that's going to be a, a, like a knockdown, slugging, dragged out fight from hell. I don't particularly want that. Uh, let's get so we can turn to shoot that direction. Okay, let's start heading up this way. I haven't done this kind of uh, fighting before where I fought from this side. Usually I push straight up the hill to try and take the, uh, the high ground. But against four lances straight up ahead, it's they got two to one odds. Who knows what kind of weapons they have. Since most of us are uh, set up for long range fighting, that's the last thing we want to do is move into an area where they've got the advantage like that. That'll be a shred fest for them. Okay. Good to go. Let's get this on. Copy that. Gonna switch these to Hydra. Should have added the extra ton of Hydra to this, but I didn't. Because you know me. I'm good like that. Uh, Arrow Mac, let's get back here. Yeah, I'm just going to use standard ammo. But we're going to drop... Uh, let's drop a big fuck you right here. On it. Screw pirates! I'm under heavy fire. No, they're under heavy fire, buddy. Reporting. Okay, get up here. Well, the one good thing is that they do get a support lance that comes up from this side. It's going to get shredded pretty quick. I can't get over how fast these assault mechs can actually move. Like, that's a 320 core. It's actually not bad speed. Oh, we got some guys over here. What do we got? A Loki and a Lament. A Lament. That's pretty good chances to hit. Um, better on this guy. Let's take him. Oh, yeah, man. Good shooting. Too bad we've only got one pilot left to go. But if that heavy gauze hits, that, that thing's going to get shredded. I think this is like 65 tons or 60 tons or something. Oh. Damage minimal. Ow. What the hell did you hit me with? Apparently I don't know because, uh, you know, something big. Ultra something or others. Good thing we're at extreme range here. Is that a Muller? Looked like it might have been. Probably AC-10s. Those are Thunderbolts. They were Thunderbolts, that is. Heavy TBM-10 carrier. Yeah, it's a Muller. Two ballistic, two missile. I'm receiving you. Oof, really? That's a pretty good chance to hit. Let's see if we can take him out. Nope. I missed. You did.
Okay, that Mauler's going to get barbecued next turn, I think. I've got eyes on Hawkeye. Yeah. Yeah, we've already seen them. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, Darius. We've already we know they're there. That's not bad though. Twenty against eight, two and a half to one odds. They're staying pretty hidden up here. Kind of shocked that they can see me and I can't see them. Owens. Okay. Just gonna walk him up now. See what our chances to hit are around the board here. 71 on that sky. Shitty on the Loki. That could probably be a kill on this guy. Or it could be a kill on TBM carrier. From what I remember, Owen's got lots of stealth stuff, right? Or am I wrong? Barrage is out of range. Let's do multi-target here. Let's try and kill the TBM carrier. Let's put the barrage... There. Or here. Now let's put it on C. And yep. Well, that'll be harder. Not for you, it won't be. Nice shot. There's a bit of overkill in that TBM carrier, but it's gone. TBM tens, I think, are forty. Five damage each or 50 damage each something like that so I mean we know we, I know we got good AMS but if they land one of those lands it's a, it's just a bad time so and I'm making excuses it could be the Owens let's move into here let's have a look around and see what we got here so the Mauler 47 in the Loki, 20, 40 in the Lament. That guy's probably going to die. 66 on the Mauler. Let's Warlord this and go right after the Mauler, I think. Alright, stripped a bit of armor. Let's fire it and then maneuver. Since I don't know who else is over there, we're going to put it behind this guy. Drop some Inferno down there. Keep him nice and toasty. He did not. Fucking whiners. Get the height advantage. Got to keep moving up this hill, I think. Let's hope we can shred these guys. The Owens is going to drop. Quick draw doesn't have much of a chance. There's a catapult. Quick draw is probably going to run its way this way. Loki, I don't know. Catapult's trying to figure out what to do here. Lament should go down this turn if I get another shot at him. Should be able to hammer him hard, I think. Okay, fortified it looks like. Phase 19. Who do we got to go next? Goofy on 18. Workhorse on 18. Another catapult. Yeah, you do your sensor lock bullshit. See where that gets you. See where that gets you. Thumper piece. Okay, we should be able to kill that this turn, hopefully. Nice. 
Thanks for showing up. All right. You have I do. Let's get into oh. HE range. That's a good shot in this guy. We're going to take it. Okay, not bad. Kaiju? That was the guy that probably shot before. Well, that yeah, don't say things like that. Ready for orders. You know what happens when you say things like that? Let's get right in the thick of it over here. I think we're going to switch out the Hydra and see what an LRM-40 can do against this Owens. Okay, not bad. Hit, Commander. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What do we got left here? Sorry guys, I'm recording this one after the last uh, episode. I still got a store, sore stomach, so if I sound funny, it's why. I kind of adjust myself here to, to have it not be so painful, and it's uh, not working all that well. Um, I know I should just stop playing, but you know, you know me. Uh, we want to kill that guy. I think so. LRM 60, we need to get out of the picture. Come on! We're not at a rave. Kill him. Oh, there's a long tom here, too. Yes, come in. Let's put those big guns to use here. These big guns to use. All right. Um, Long Tom, Atlas Two, Crapapult, LRM Carrier. We could toast the LRM Carrier and the Owens probably. Take some guns off the field here. So, A. Let's go this route. I think that should probably be enough. I got him. Okay, that's nice for that one. Beautiful. And I was just talk talking last episode that uh, having multi-target wasn't working out all that well, but... It does against smaller things like that. Okay, there's a Corsair back here, too. They're nice. See, now they're suffering from the same thing I was suffering from early on, where they're grouping up back there. These guys are going to just enjoy a couple of arrows here in a second. Keep them nice and toasty. Hopefully that long tom gets fried. That's moving forward. Yep. Man, I remember the last version of Rogue Tech, that long tom. It was like just scary as hell. Like it would make just make you completely unstable, but now it's not so bad. Lots of armor. Damage is spread out like that. It's not so bad. All right, who can we kill? Loki may not be a kill. This guy might be if we hit his torso here. He's got two heavy MRM 20s. What else do we have? 63, 64 on the long tom. Thumper. Kaiju. Nightstar, Atlas. 85 on the Loki, but I think this guy... I don't know. A couple of good shots on this guy and he's done too. 
Let's take it on this guy. See if we can kill him. Well, you can take his whole side off. Just enjoy the just enjoy the sky there, buddy. Tell me what constellations you see. Past all the fire and smoke. Okay, who do we have left here? That was Dallas. So that was the end of our turn. Okay, thank goodness that was a miss. Okay, I'm going to see how many of us we can get up on here now. I don't think very many. Probably nobody. Maybe only uh, Night Gear Prime. That is definitely a different feel than the last battle, that's for sure. Huh? Who do we want? Who can we get, I guess, is the best best question to ask. So that is the Aloki, which we don't care about. 71 on the Crapapult. Oh, he's got Hydra. That's a really good choice right there. Long Tom's taking the arrows. He's taking the arrows. That's all arrow up there. Corsair. Pair of MRM 20s with improved ammo. And a Rack 20. Ooh, we might get some Rack 20 ammo out of this. Polly. What the hell is Polly? You gotta kill that guy. You gotta kill everybody. I know what I'm talking about. All right, there's our target. Let's go after this guy. I don't want this Hydra stuff firing at us. That's going to be a bad day for us if that happens. Let's keep going this way. We can jump up next turn, I think, from there. Should be able to jump up here, maybe. I don't know. Not get too close together. Let's move over here. Uh, yeah. If anything, he's going to have to work to be stable. Okay, uh, let's switch around here, let's go after this guy, we can't, out of range, Hydra, oh it's got range limitations, oh that's interesting. Let's see if we can get a knockdown on this guy, unlikely but he's braced there so. Got the Inferno on. Enjoy this, guys. Engaging. Do we get the Long Tom? I think we Long did. I think we actually. I think we actually got both of the uh, vehicles. No, Thumper's still going. I think we got the Long Tom though. This freaking lamb is pissing me off. Goofy, we have a guy in our way. Do you mind getting rid of him for us? This guy's bugging me. I need to shut him up now, please. Hostile removed. 
in your sphere XL engine guys don't run it whatever you do don't run it learn my lesson that's for sure Okay, let's see what our chance on this catapult is down here. Pretty darn good. I think we just open fire on them. Well, what's our chance if we do this? If it lets us actually do that, it does. S that's pretty darn good. Engaging target. Okay, he's unsteady now. <laughs> Yeah, re just restart, will ya? Good to go. I'm on the move. Let's get rid of the Hydra threat here. Confirm the Warlord and this guy, please, and fire everything. Nice. That's a kill. I got a head hit on him too, that's nice. Man, my stomach's killing me, guys. All right. Weird thing too is it's like it's just like not my stomach; it's my upper intestine. <laughs> I don't know whether I ate something bad or what it is, but oh man. My stomach, like I don't, I don't have acid in my stomach, like. None of that. I don't have acid reflux or heartburn or anything like that. It's just the like the upper part of my uh, intestine is just really sore. It's almost like a. I, I hate to say it, it's almost like a massive gas bubble is stuck in there, but it's not because I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> too much information, I guess. Um, it's well, we gotta wait for, for this guy to figure out what he's doing anyway. Whoever it is. I don't know, probably an aircraft of some kind. So who do we got left? We got Dallas left. Uh, Gundal just went. So Dallas, um, maybe we can finish up this Loki. Although he's not really a threat right now. So maybe we'll have a look at that artillery vehicle that got away. And we'll hit him. Finish that guy up if we can. And then um, we should sweep the Loki and the Quick Draw, I think, next well, it depends on what the quick draw does. If he keeps running in that direction, we'll, we'll forget him. Um, but I think I think the the, the uh, night gear arrow should be able to tie up the guys on the hill quite nicely, and then we can just focus on this guy back here, the Corsair, with the rack twenty. We can't let him get close. Ooh, where was that? Warning. Armor low. Okay. Oh, it's the stealth bomber. Yeah. Not much armor left in that location. You can't see the stealth bomber. And we can see this guy. All right. Oof, two hits, but not enough to kill. Let's back up a little bit. Order acknowledged. Stay out of the range of that rack twenty. So definitely the Corsair has got to go down, so we'll target him next turn. We'll use the arrow to keep the guy up, guys up on the hill tied up. We gotta hit that stealth bomber though. Ow. Who is that guy? I can't take much more of you can and you will. That was the Atlas too. He moved forward. Huh. Don't know if he shut down or not. These guys are nice and toasty in here though. No idea what the Atlas's heat gauge is at. Oh, he's pretty he's pretty damn toasty. 
We're going to toast him up a little bit next turn, too. We'll drop a couple arrows here at the front. Yeah, trying to make us destabilize, but you keep working on that. Wow, they got a lot of, like, high-powered direct fire shots. You are not. Stop it. Okay, Loki's going to fortify. Oh, he's going to fire. He's all yours. Kill him, Goofy. He's all yours. Alright, people, let's go. What do we got on the hill here? Another Corsair. Sniper artillery. Two rocket launcher 20 Hydras. Well, he's really only in range for... Uh, can't get up on the hill, can we? Oh, we can. Lifting off. The village vigilance up. Um, how much has he got left here in the front? A whole bunch. 40%. What have we got in the Corsair? 66 that's our target. Ah, that stealth bomber shooting my friggin' rocket missiles down. Rock missiles. Rock, rock paper missile. Oh, he's moving in. To no avail. Alright, buddy, you know what to do. Got some assholes back here that think they can come after us. Did we get the vehicle? Losing armor. Did our heat go up? Probably a little bit. No, we didn't get the vehicle. He took some damage though. Damn it. Yeah, just don't fall down, buddy. Okay, stability back. Do we have our rack still? We do. Uh, okay, B is going to take the rotary. A will take everything else. All we need is one turret hit. There we go. That problem solved. Ooh, that looked like six hits to me. Yes, Commander. Guy's all yours, buddy. Don't stand in the rough terrain. I got yelled at last series for that. I don't blame you guys. Let's shred them. Enemy down. You got that right. I need you to target that Corsair for me, please. This guy should not be allowed to get close. Now, do we have ability to use our big gun? We do on this guy. Let's go this route. Oh, we hit with it, too. That's beautiful. And both those guys hit. Nice. That's a penetration. Is that an ammo hit, though? It's pausing for me. I'm trying to figure out if we killed some ammo. Nope. Nope. Do we have infiltrator left? We do. We're going to go for a pinpoint on this torso. Is that what the Rack 20 is? It is. Ammo is probably on this side. It is. Perfect. So if we can kill him by killing this side, we should be able to get the rack 20 doubles. Receiving you. I don't know what good that's going to do, though. Just 
move up here and let's switch over to Hydra is this guy in range no he's not damn it what's the chance to hit this stealth bomb or oh, he's out of range What's this guy thunderstruck these guys are pretty much tied up Corsair awesome I don't want to hit that Corsair and uh, potentially damage other components. You're going first, buddy. Enjoy your free vigilance. Yeah, you're going to warm up a little bit too. Not much I can do about that. Oh, plus two heat from fire. All right. Wow, really? Uh, yeah. Let's wind this up. All right, it's a start. <laughs> All right, let's pinpoint this uh, Corsair. Corsair, Corsair, Corsair. There we go. 56, huh? Let's not go too much. Let's hope we get it. There we go. So we should have ammo there for that. Ooh, what are we going to do with the Rack 20, guys? Got to put a big engine in an Atlas. And sprint it up with a Rack 20 in it. Yeah, that would be nice if we can get some good ammo out of that. How's the heat treating you? <laughs> At least you're not shut down. This guy's close to being shut down. Wait. This thing had a molly. I wonder if it's this sword in its hand. You see the sword there? Just kind of barely right there. See it? I wonder if that's what that is. Something tells me it's not though. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. He's got a pirate hat on. <laughs> it would almost be worth taking that mech <laughs> for the fucking pirate hat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I wonder if we can get it. Where is it? Oh, come on. Look at this thing. That's probably the molly there, whatever the hell that is. That's supposedly a parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> I guess he's the leader. That would be my guess. All right, let's fire a maneuver. Um, 54 in the Corsair. Do we have a, actually access to this stealth bomber? We don't, looks like. Now we don't. Let's go after uh, the Atlas II. Well... Kaiju? Sure. Affirmative. Well, you only got nine of them. 
You only got nine. Let's get up in this hill. Eh, not that much higher. It looked like it was higher. Yeah, someone's got Hydra. Good thing we shot them mo most of them down. Move away from the fire, please. We gotta end this guy. Uh, let's use it all. Okay, nice shooting. And a knockdown. So he's gonna die this turn. Flames on the way, huh? No matter where we go, because you're probably standing in them. We'll take a little bit of instability. We're jammed. Let's go after this guy. See if we can finish him up here. Beautiful. That's a kill, Commander. You know, the last series that I did, last two series, we had the Night Witches and the uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn going on side by each. Um, and I did a comparison at the end to find out who was uh, the uh, best, um, who had the most kills and stuff. I'm not even going to bother with this one because we're spending so much time um, sh not really sharing kills, but um, basically setting the enemy up for a knockdown, you know? So I don't mind, like I don't really care who's getting the kills. As long as they're going down, that's all that matters, you know? It's a team effort in this one. Alright, Duck. Still got Inferno. I want to go after that stealth bomber, but I think these two guys are probably more important. Alright, 33 and 34 heat. Ow. wonder how hot that guy is. And what our chance? I think Hydra is out of range on that guy. Oof, really? It's that low on this guy too, eh? Moving to position. Gonna leave the ER mediums off. Just gonna use the LRMs on this guy. Not going to bother with the Hydra. I want to save that for more important targets. Okay, who do we got left? Dallas and Goofy. Dallas should take a shot at this guy. Now that he's unstable. And this Kaiju's unstable too, right? Ow. It's almost better he doesn't have a rack 20. They're banging through my armor. Yeah, they're banging through everybody's armor. Reporting major armor loss. That ripped up a bunch of armor. Sure did. That, that was a hit. I can't take much more of this. You can and you will. He's not shut down yet. Pretty darn close, though. That stealth bomber's going to go shortly. I think when he does, we got to hit him with the uh, arrows. I think this Mauler is still like either shut down or like ridiculously overheated.
I think it's the stealth bomber's turn right now. I hope it's not his turn to fire. That guy always does so much stability damage. So Goofy's going to go after the quick draw. Hopefully get rid of that. That way I don't have to worry about a flanker. And then we can continue to work our way up to the top of the hill here and get some better chances to hit. The Atlas II's got to go down. Then I think it's got to be this uh, Corsair up on the hill here. I know he's hard to hit, but I think that's the next guy that's got to go down. The Awesome's going to be relatively easy to overheat and keep him there. Um... And then these guys are just clean up, I think. They've got, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten left. So we've half their numbers. And if Goofy and Dallas can do some good damage on this turn, we might take another one down. That's the stealth bomber. Not much armor left in that yeah, you're changing your target. He's going to be targeting this guy next turn. I should really see if Dallas can take can take a shot at him though. Oh yeah, there's the Thunderstruck too, that's right. Once again, ATMs or uh, Thunder ammo is pretty much like nerfed. Reporting. As long as you have an AMS, you pretty much nerf them. Uh, that's indirect, huh? I don't want to move out of too much out of AMS range, but let's get up here. Let's get the height advantage on this guy. Okay, that's way overheating. Alright, let's go this way. Next turn we'll pull back, cool off. That's a critical hit. We don't have a we don't have a, a thing on the stealth bomber, eh? A firing solution. Atlas it is. There goes your sword. Critical hit, Commander. At least it looked like it was the sword. Move order received. Spread out a little bit here. We, we didn't kill anybody, but that's fine. This quick draw is in trouble. King Crab. Okay. okay. Ultra 5. Or a pair of single 5s. <laughs> You're never getting out of there, buddy. Oof, this Atlas is taking some good CT damage. Yeah, we better rotate you. Alright, what do we got going on here? That's indirect on him. Uh... Let's go this route. Firing. That's a kill. Enemy down. Back it up. Uh, you know what? I know it's lousy chances to hit, but we got to kill this stealth bomber. Roger. Before he gets a chance to shoot at us again. Wow, we got nothing on him. Let's move over here for more direct fire.
Put it right here. Not a lot of damage, but uh, we'll take it. Let's just move over here. Confirm. Make sure we're in AMS range here. Let's just peel some armor off this guy. Oh, we hit the awesome too, looks like. Okay, up the hill. Yes, Commander. This guy's all yours. Heh, let's warm him up. As you wish. Okay. You're good to go there. Wow, firing all three PPCs after taking two Inferno rounds? You got balls, kid, I'll give you that. Or was it this guy? No, it was the awesome. Yes, Commander. All right, let's see if we got a shot. 75, 64 in the Corsair, 80 on the Kaiju. That's probably where we're going. Wow, really low on the Stealth Bomber. Thunderstruck. Let's go after this guy. We're going to Warlord it. And here it comes. Good shooting. Good shooting. I think if we bring the Atlas over there too. Nice. Good to go. Uh can you hit this guy with Hydra? You can. That's probably the way to go. What about the guy in the hill here? Thunderstruck. 31. It's much lower chance to hit. Let's go in the Kaiju. Yeah, I don't know what's, what it is with that Hydra ammo. It just seems OP as shiz. On the move. That's the Mauler. Restarting, probably. He's trying to figure out what to do with his life. <laughs> it's like, do I stay here or do I just leave? I could just get out of my mech. Jump, the fire's gone, jump down, run away, pretend like I died in the mech. Go somewhere. Start up a, start up a bar somewhere on the edge of town, somewhere. Alright. What do we got on this guy? We got an overheat situation is what we got. Uh, yeah. One hit. Oh boy. It's going to be an interesting fight. What do they got left? Four, five, six, seven, eight left. Even battle. Yep. Yeah, it's a little warm. That's that. Is that the Muller that time? I don't know. 
So, oh yeah, there's still that, uh, there's another mech back there too. I forgot what it is though. Night gear, not, not a night gear, uh, something like that. Oh yeah, man, let's dial it up to 11. Let's hammer this guy. I feel good about that. Yet. Man, I wish this battle wouldn't end. My stomach's killing me. I shouldn't have recorded two tonight. But I gotta be going to see one of my friends off tomorrow. He's going back to Vancouver. He's a uh, um, he does writing for uh, for video games. He's having problems getting uh, good good work here and. Ontario, so he's moving back to Vancouver. So we're gonna go see him off tomorrow night. Let's hammer this guy. That's some nice shiz right there. Not knocking him down though. That's alright. Let's go up here. Get some height. Yeah, a little bit more, not bad. Still got Inferno. Well, we got it. We're going to use it. Let's put it right in here. Firing. There goes the stealth bomber. Okay, let's get up over here. Corsair next. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me click on these guys. What? Oh, no. Well, at least we got the kill. I thought, I, I, you know what I thought. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> my dad. My dad, I was oh, you know what thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he shit himself. Story of my life. Let's see if we can shut this guy down. Or we can just kill him. That works too. Target neutralized. Sure is. Reporting. Okay, let's switch back to standard ammo. Yeah, we can get a shot at that Thunderstruck, so let's do that. I don't know how much we can launch on this guy, but a little bit anyway. Oh, we got Warlord back. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll drop all those. Nice. Should be able to finish that up next turn, I think. Uh, see, Warlord's up. Let's just brace. Uh, Mauler's hidden, eh? Robbing the kill from Goofy, but that's fine. So we got the Mauler. Whatever the hell other, the other mech was, the awesome, and there's somebody else over there. I wonder what's going on over there. Who cares? Let's just roast this guy. Heat damage. Damn it. This heat is cooking my internal structure. That's my fault. Fire. 
guy's trying to stay cool, but you know, ain't working for him. All right, Goofy, I need you to be my eyes up ahead here. Let's get down this way. I understand. No blips. Okay. Good to go. Confirm. Stand on the hill and shoot this guy in the pills. Nicely done. Going to move forward just in case. There's going to be guys over here that we need to shoot at, so. Just going to use Artemis on this guy. Saving the Hydra for, the, for our newfound friends when we see them. Really? Yeah, I can see that. Somebody's having a bad day over there. I think somebody got some heat sinks wrecked. If I was to guess. And now they can't sink any heat. Let's just go this route. Yeah. They're both shut down over there. Good to go. One arrow only. Keep the heat going over there. No, you're not. Commander. No, you're not. See ya. Enemy down. Then there were three. Okay, reserve these guys. We gotta get Goofy moving up first. Nothing, huh? I'm here. Ten four. Oh, we got nothing. Thought we had something there for a second. Orders. I don't know if you're gonna be in range if you're up there. Let's move over here. I think we're gonna be out of range. Yeah, no point in moving in. Oh, there's the night. Okay, it was a night star. Is that a vehicle there too? Mauler, night star. Commander. Doesn't matter. This guy's unstable. Let's just hit him. Oh, he shut down too. Let's go after this torso. It's already been damaged. Firing. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Ow. See ya. Two left. Oof. Are both these guys? They're both shut down. See if we can get lucky and take his head off. Unlikely, but we'll, we'll try it. Commander. 
Now I have no idea where Affirmative. if they've got anybody else where that person would be. We had four come in from the left, or from the right, sorry. So that's everybody there. There's nobody off the map board. There's got to be somebody back there. Where are they? I have no idea. Awaiting order. Oh, there we go. Talos. It must be stuck up on a hill. Firing. It's got to be stuck up on a hill there. Well range make no difference to me so PM yeah it looks like he's stuck on a like halfway up a hill somewhere careful goofy one mech can still be dangerous out of range, eh? Let's get a little closer. They're at extra dry. Okay, we got some range on this guy. Firing. Alright, one hit. You're not going to be able to get over here to shoot him for quite a bit, so let's just move on to this flank. Ready for orders. There you go. There's the range we need. I feel sorry for this guy. Well, not really. Can we get into the firing range? There we go. There you go. Everyone gets into the fight. Ah, only the streaks, huh? Firing at Receiving you. Put it right in front of them if we can. Get into the HE range. And we're gonna do this. Confirm the warlord and hammer him. Roger. This guy's taking a punishment. Solid connection on that. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Yeah, we got four, that's fine. There goes his leg. Have a seat, buddy. Who do we have left, Alice? I'm receiving you. Let's get that big gun on this guy. CT hit, please. Well, we got him for one. Oh, and left leg, we hit him. Not in range yet, eh? You are now. Oh, you got your target right here, buddy. Finish him up for me, please. There we go. Now we can go home. Alright. 100,000. That's not going to cover our damages, that's for sure. Uh, good experience. Atlas took him. Nice shots to the CT, man. Oh, we all took some good damage on a lot of different places. All right, now we got to figure out. Oh, Blackbeard, 
Um, what we're going to take, we could take a 95 ton Corsair, but we were thinking about uh, nothing that we can complete easily. Let's go right to the bottom. Advanced AMS, that's another possibility. We've already got an extra one, uh, but I want to see, we got Hydra ammo down here. Oh, rack, yeah, there we go. All three in one. So that's only one slot, beautiful. Okay, heavy MRM ammo. We got LK ammo. That's it? That's it, man? I guess so. Um, okay, let's go. There's a PPC capacitor down there, too. It's a possibility. ERPPC plus capacitor. Pirate, 8 tons. 50 damage. It's a double shot though, right? Fires twice? Uh, no, apparently not. Grants unique fire modes. Overcharging? Okay. Heavy MRM 20s. Heavy rocket launcher Hydra. How much do these things weigh? Eight tons. Five salvos. Wow. HVAC 10. Hypervelocity auto cannon. Well, that's interesting. 10 heat only for 60 damage. It's a single shot though, right? Uh, LRM-17s. I sold the ones that we had. Just can't. I'm just not going to make these work. Um, I prefer to have a couple of LRM-20s. MRM-20. What's the difference between this guy Oh, it's got... Oh, I see. It's encased ammo. It's only got five turns of firing. All right. Um, Sawed-off thumper we've already got. Tag barrage. We've already got one sitting around. We don't really need it. Um, boosted Beagle Active Probe. That's kind of interesting. C3 Slave. Regular endo steel, cores, XL exchangers. We've got exchangers still, so we're okay there. Artemis, we have gunnery support B. That's a possibility. There's that heavy gyro. That's a possibility for the Atlas if we're going to put him in, into combat's way. Gunnery support B is a possibility, but I think there's other stuff we want to look at down here. PPC capacitor. Trying to remember if the risk PPCs can be affected by this or not. I don't remember offhand. Um, it's a possibility. Tracker sensors, we've still we've got two now. Try corn. Select like sweet TSMs, weapon mount. We've got two of these already. So we don't need this one right now. AMS ammo we can try and buy. Heavy MRM LK. We've got two. It'd be nice to have another one if we're planning on using heavy MRMs. Swarm we already have. Half load of Hydra ammo. I mean, maybe we take another... Ah, the Hydra ammo seems overpowered to me. It just seems OP. I don't want to take too much of it and just be constantly using it. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to have it and use it, but... I want to... Like, we're, we're already at a point where... Uh, um, we're doing really, really well. Minus one medium range missile damage, but plus one accuracy. Huh. 
Huh. Oh, five prototype double heat sinks. Yeah, we'll take those. We'll take those for sure. Um, maybe this. Now that we're, we're high enough level, those things are less Im less uh, important. Um, maybe we take a mech piece. Heavy MRM 20. We don't have to use the 30s, we could use a 20. 160 damage that they all hit. Well, our parts, we got quick draw parts already. I mean, we could take an Atlas Blackbeard part. And then maybe it's compatible with others. It's got like tons of hard points. It's just so bizarre looking. Um, I don't know. How often are we going to face these things? Let's just take it. Let's just take it. And if we get enough, enough Atlas pieces, we can put together one of these guys. All right, let's go this route. Okay, we got an Owens part, a, a King Crab part. We got two of them now. We might be able to put a King Crab together. ER medium lasers, claws, uh, a couple of regular endo steels, heavy ferro, which we've already got two of, I think, right now. Yeah, small jump jets, half ton of Hydra ammo. Okay, dumper ammo, which we've already got. Okay, well we didn't do too well on the roll. Oh well. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess, for damages. I mean, it's going to put us under. For financial report but I should be able to sell some stuff for that so that's not bad at all let's have a look at the mech bays here I want to see if we got enough for a, a king crab uh, let's see storage I don't think so no we don't that's fine no big deal all right well I'm gonna get these mechs fixed up and let me know what you think you want me to load out the Atlas 2C as. Um, I'm open to any kind of suggestions. You guys were able to see roughly what I have now um, as parts. So, you know, MRMs are still a possibility. Rack 2s, rack... The rack 20 is certainly a possibility now that we've got the double ammo. Um, so, yeah, whatever you guys think, let me know and we'll load it out. All right? But I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.